most accurate. Now your first warn five forecast. Good Tuesday afternoon. I'm meteorologist Matthew Mondra with your first warn five update. Now this Tuesday has been much quieter than Monday, and although we are expecting some pop up showers this afternoon, we aren't expecting any strong storms or severe storms like we saw on our Monday. Now temperatures today will also be affected by a cold front, so lower 70s farther north and west, but upper 70s near 80 across the thumb for the Tri Cities and also in Flint. Our wind gusts this afternoon also up to around 25 miles per hour. They will be westerly and starting to turn more northwesterly once we we head into the evening that just allows more of this drier air to also filter in. It already is less humid than it was on this Tuesday morning. A dew points are into the lower 60s and upper 50s, and they'll continue that downward trend even into the overnight as well. Now your first one five hour by hour does show the pop up showers this afternoon. Nothing to cancel any of your plans over or plan your day around, but just know that they will be out there from time to time and an isolated thunderstorm is not impossible. But again, no severe weather with that. And once we head into tonight, we are clear. We're dry by around 10 p.m. And then once we head into your Wednesday, also looking at a dry day with plenty of sunshine, just some fair weather clouds in the afternoon. So at the bus stop on this Tuesday afternoon, just keep an eye out for a pop up shower or two. So you may need the rain gear depending on if you do see any of that rain activity. But for your Wednesday morning at the bus stop as you're heading off to school, 57 degrees, low humidity overall, just very refreshing. 70 forecast is on cruise control all the way through Friday. And then on Saturday, a cold front will be moving through. So we will watch that shower change chance closely. It's more so going to depend on our moisture quality by the time we get into Saturday. It's also the holiday weekend, so another reason to keep an eye on that rain chance. But Thursday and Friday for high school football, the weather is looking great. Stay with WNEM TV5 on air, on the go, and online for more news and weather updates.